So, the Rapala fish and fillet nahi fare, is it worth it? Should you buy it or are there better alternatives out there? Well, I've been testing this knife out now for about three months and I have some thoughts about it here. I will say that this knife's construction is quite interesting compared to a bunch of other knives in this price class. First of all, this one does come with a wooden grip, as you can see. Now, I don't really like this wooden grip as it's when it gets wet, it's very easy to slide your hands using this knife. Also, it doesn't have a bolster at all, or it does, but I mean, come on. So the chances of you slicing yourself with this knife, I would say is a lot higher than a bunch of the other knives in this price class. I will say though that this one has a good value. I mean, it comes with a leather sheet that is actually of high quality, which is pretty cool. You usually don't get this for knives in this price class from my experience. I mean, I've been testing them all, <laughs> all out, so I would know. Beyond that, uh, the construction of the knife is decent. It's more than good enough. This is a quality knife. It's very clear once you touch it. It also does come with a very, very flexible blade here that is e very easy to use to fillet. However, it does have the drawback since it is so flexible. It does become a little bit hard when you need to cut through bones and that kind of stuff. But just for pure filleting, I've been very, very happy with this knife overall. It does not have a tang construction. The metal itself is clearly very high quality. No rust problems or anything over the past three months as I've been testing this thing out. Now of the packaging and sharpness out of the box for this knife, it did come in plastic packaging. It was pretty well protected. Out of the box, it was a really good knife. Uh, it has lasted quite a long time and it's been really nice and sharp. But again, there is a problem with it being so soft, like it's cutting through butter when you're filleting, but once there comes a bone, you will actually feel it on the blade. Now I was out fishing some mackerel here so I could show you guys in practice how this knife actually works. So I'm just gonna make a quick fillet here. So as you can see, as you slide through skin, this one works perfectly. Now, as we go down the length of the meter, it's very good and nice to use this knife. I mean, I almost don't have to use any strength to do this and it pretty much follows the, the bones underneath here without any problems at all. For removing the actual skin from the from the fish here, now, these are very young mackerel, so it's very thin skin. It is, I think, the best in its price class. It's just amazing how good this knife is. However, the problem comes back once you have to do something, for example, cutting through bone. This one is not good for it. I mean, these ones are small, so it does go through, but you, you can kind of feel a wobble inside a blade because it is as soft as it actually is. For $27, I would say that this is a good knife to have in your arsenal. Now, it's not a very long knife. I think it's about six inches or so in total. Also pretty thin and uh, pointy. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a Finnish knife as well, which is pretty cool. By the way, hi, Finland. Uh, I'm from Norway, by the way, so it's actually our neighbors. Of course, I have to say something nice about the knife right now. <laughs> it is a good knife. It is a good knife. Is it the best one for the price class? Maybe it depends a little bit. Now, I made a huge video comparing all the top knives around the $30 mark or beneath $30. So if you want to see how this one compares to all the other knives in the price class, I'm gonna link a video up here that you can tap on next. Also, there will be links to this video in the video description. If you want to just purchase this one right away, I would appreciate it if you would use my link down below. That means I get a little commission on each sale at no extra cost to you. And yeah, if you have more questions about the knife, of course, I have more to say about it in that other video. I'll see you over there.